Hello and welcome to the Feisty News for Women. I am Tierica. I present important women's issues and fearless feminine voices disrupting our society. Today is July 16th, 2023. Here is the Feisty News for Women. Carly Russell, a black woman in Alabama, vanished on July 13th after police say she called to report a toddler walking alone on Interstate 459 around 9.30 p.m. Skycam footage captured images of her car pulling over on Interstate 459 with hazard lights blinking, but the footage did not clearly show what happened. Police arrived minutes later to find her car running and her phone still inside the vehicle. Amidst speculation that she was abducted for human trafficking, Carly was declared a missing person and a $30,000 reward was offered for information leading to her return. A critical update was made 48 hours after her disappearance when Carly's family reported that she was dropped off at her mother's home and taken to the hospital for an evaluation. Thankfully, more details as they are presented. In other news, Ricky Valerie Cole, the first transgender woman to be crowned Miss Netherlands, has been a victim of hate speech and online harassment since securing her crown. Since Ricky has qualified to compete for Miss Universe, Anonymous trolls have bombarded her with insults about her win. Should transgender women be allowed to compete in female beauty pageants? Absolutely. A beauty pageant examines physical beauty, and most of that physical beauty is a result of effort in fitness and in skill. If a transgender woman develops the skills to create the same standard of beauty as a natural born woman, then she deserves to compete, period. Well, it's time for a break. Do you think it is impossible for you to become wealthy? Let's speak to a woman who can put you on a sure path to financial freedom when we come back. Don't miss it. Hey, my name is Fong Tran and I am an ACSM certified exercise physiologist or you can call me a personal trainer. My job is to encourage women just like you to understand true fitness and designs an exercise routine that fits into your life as opposed to you falling into an endless cycle of disinformation and that's the whole reason why I created Be Active Is Easy Be Active Is Easy is exactly what you think it is when you think of being active or being fit in general you think of all kinds of rules what to do, what not to do that's why my training program Fun Fitness with Fong and Taylor Fit are personalized to your lifestyle and experience I'm literally at a gym right now preparing to teach women to exercise correctly this is what I do so once again if you have any question about fitness look out for Be Active Is Easy on Instagram, Twitter or even on Google Welcome back I am T. Erica with the feisty news for women girl guess what did you know that 90% of all millionaires achieve that level of wealth through the acquisition of real estate? Yet only 32% of real estate investors are women. To increase our chances of creating generational wealth, women must become a part of the real estate industry. Thankfully, we have women like Leslie Ann Morris, the creator of the Facebook group, 1,000 Women Millionaires. Welcome to the feisty, Leslie. I'm sure you understand that most women do not believe they can become real estate investors due to lack of capital for their initial investment. How can women become real estate investors without robbing a bank? Well, Tierica, I'm going to give you all the details, but I just want to say thank you so much for having me on the feisty news today. So investing in real estate can be really intimidating and it's usually intimidating for women, especially because of that large down payment that you're going to need to get started. So I have three tips, three ways that you can get started quickly investing in real estate. Literally anyone can do it. First way is with this money sitting in your retirement, you might have an IRA, a 401k, um, something sitting there. Maybe you look at the quarterly statements. Maybe you don't. If you're looking at them, it might be going down in value. Take that out of there. Get that money invested in real estate. Second option would be to find someone that you trust, could be family, friend, and go in halves and find out a way to come up with that money and get it invested in real estate. I've even seen multiple people go in partnership, maybe three or four. And the third thing would be to sell your home. When I got started, I downsized my life. 
that home that you're living in is actually costing you money every month. It's not really an asset. So sell that home, get the proceeds. Hopefully you have a massive gain and you could use that gain to invest in real estate. You could consider buying a duplex, multifamily, or my preference, cabins, some sort of vacation home, something that will turn around and make you money each month. Thank you, Leslie, for that amazing insight. It is possible. You just have to think outside of the box. Join Leslie's Facebook group, 1,000 Women Millionaires, for more creative ideas to create financial freedom. Well, thank you for watching the Feisty News for Women. I am T. Erica. Remember, be feisty. Women must be seen and heard. Welcome to the Feisty News for Women.